back everyone, Lily Farm Guy here and welcome back to Green Gold Farm here on Farming Simulator 22 and we are right back, well not exactly where we are, but in time we are back, right exactly back where we left off. We are actually in, as you can imagine, or kind of figure out we're in this sugarcane farm here. I thought it'd be kind of funny just to start there. So, so like literally I've done nothing since the end of the last um episode but a lot of things are going to happen immediately here and um i am going to I, I know i'm on easy economy now this is a super cheaty what i'm going to do next but many of you already know of this i'm going to take this um this here automatic water for animals and greenhouses mod s uh, silo extension um, I'm just gonna put it down actually. Oh, I can't put it here. I have to put it close to a cow barn So I do have that Or a greenhouse and there it is next to my other one. However, I'm not gonna leave this one here I'm actually going to buy it and sell it and oh, let's go back there um, And why is that well because uh, it contains a billion liters of water and uh, when I sell it it's gonna give me a a uh, three well on this map it's going to give me 300 million dollars worth of uh well cash so now i'm uh, pretty much rolling in it um for sure so no issues now with buying any land we need or having any cash money but that's not the point of this series was to see if we could make money or anything like that we are actually uh so let's buy uh, buy that yes we're gonna buy that uh, we're going to buy this um, okay so that's the field here is our sugar cane now I th you know what let's just buy these two here because um, and we're going to purchase soil information for that one and that one and that one and actually uh, can we buy it for this one no that's that's just a pasture so uh, now we have a good selection of uh fields oh was did we not own we owned oh, we did not own let's just go ahead and buy that one and buy the uh soil samples so now we can see the soil um what the soil's made of and because uh, we have precision farming on now if you notice i don't know if you remember from the last one uh the black bean was the the seed um yeah uh let's let's just go ahead and buy another cedar because i sold it already i did sell it though uh what we're going to do is not cedar planters we're going to use the Kinsey multi-fruit planter unrealistic but I think we're going to go with the smaller one are we going to go with the smaller one let's just go with the big one uh, with the uh, 30 mile per hour top speed and let's see here planting uh, it does not show black beans that's interesting it did not conform to oh this one does this does why does this one not that's oh maybe it ran out of room this one it shows right after cotton this one is not after cotton that's interesting so this one uh, this one is <clears throat> well kind of more of a standard yeah okay so I guess we'll have to buy well, we're not planting. We already planted black beans. Right. Um, what's different? Is black bean the only difference? Oh, this is poplar. We don't... Well, let's go with this one for now. We're going to go with... Uh, not the roller, the mulcher. Because the roller... The roller won't let you use a, a worker. So we're just going with the mulcher. Uh, I don't think we really care about. Okay. Let's um, wheel brands, wheel setup brands. Um, 
Lights, warning markers, beacons, no, rear hitch. I don't think we need, to. we're gonna go with unrealistic capacity because we don't really care about the price. Uh, frame color, let's make it something interesting, shall we? That's a nice bright color. Uh, tank color, let's go with something else somewhat mm, otherwise maybe interesting a little bit. Gold, I always like a little bit of gold. Steps, I don't care, rim color is fine. We'll buy that, but whilst we're in there, we're gonna go and uh, we're going miscellaneous and my muffins are ready. Uh, we're gonna buy a couple of these attachers just to have around the house, shall we say. And we're going to need a tractor. So let's go over to the store and get a tractor. All right, a little bit of a divergence here since we have a um, sugarcane field ready to be harvested. I went and bought the uh, colossal uh, forage harvester from the Colossus Pact. Colossus Pack, yes. And the new sugarcane header, which is totally unreal. And I also uh, also bought the uh, trailer from the Omatana's um, TARDIS Pack. This is the up. This is the newest trailer. 250,000 liter TARDIS DKXL. Um, right, so here we are um, at our sugarcane field. There is fencing a, lo a lot of places. Um, however, you can delete it. And if we come up over here, uh, it is a bit tedious though, since uh, we can see here uh, the fence doesn't go all the way so it's actually not all that um intrusive but as you can see here we should be oh does it not letting us there we go there we go you just gotta yeah you just gotta catch it at the right spot it's there we go so it, you are able to basically um demolish them it's just a little tricky so if uh of those of you who do not know, um, or not familiar with this um, harvester, uh, we got a 50 meter uh, unfold pipe. There we go. 50 meter working width uh, for this, and uh, yeah say it's unreal is uh, putting it mildly however it is super fun and this is not really a big field well it would be if I was doing it one meter at a time but uh, now yes we are and oh that's something I didn't notice so I did fill it with um, silage additive but of course this is not silage so that's not giving us any extra yield, which is fine. Uh, something I really actually didn't test for when I tested this, but uh, something good to know. And it looks like we are already nearly full to that 250,000 liter capacity of our trailer. Right. <laughs> there. Okay, so let's put away our... So in order to... Oh, I hope you're not... He's not spitting it out there. Uh, so in order to see the lights... Or see the... So I can drop it and turn it on. Yes, unfold, unfold, unfold. Uh, oh yeah, it's still there, but if you turn your lights on, now turn your lights on, it, they, the ends light up. There we go. So that's... Anyways, let's... Um, yeah, I'm going to go dump this off and um, at our... I'm going to dump this in the silo, and then we're going to go uh, take it to market, which is... Uh, where can we sell sugarcane? Sugarcane can be sold at the sugarcane plant. 
Well, that makes sense. Where is the sugarcane plant? And that's over here. So not too far. I did get a little bit lost coming back from the store, which is the store is here. Kind of went here and then I went down here, which was wrong. Uh, so from our place or the farm, um, yeah, I guess I could go down. I'd have to go through and back over to the sugarcane plant. So we'll figure that out. Let me go... Um, yeah, so that's that's this. We'll let you know what we end up with for uh, I'm 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 thinking um, a good million at least liters of sugarcane is what uh, what we're likely going to end up with. Let's put that pipe away for a minute. I don't want to be losing. So fortunately, we're very close here. We're just going to uh, dump into our multi fruit. Uh, I do believe we have a million and 1.35, I think, because if we go into silos, you can actually buy another one of these. It is one of the modded items. Uh, 1.3 million liters of um, multi, multi various crops, so that's good to know if you uh, if you. Um, happen to like say want to start your farm somewhere else on the map and not at the uh, not at the new farmer spot so there we go so I'm gonna finish off this field and then we're gonna see what we end up with and I guess I'll have to go get a truck and a trailer or trailers and start hauling this sugarcane all right, so <laughs> uh, I did get trailers. I did not get a truck. I got this uh, Case Magnum by Mac Trucker 921 Special Edition. Um, that's uh, I do believe I have a link to this mod in my first description video description. I put all my mods in there actually. <clears throat> um, this Titan trailer comes with the Colossus pack as pack as well, and actually I. Th think I'm only going to need one of them. I got two of them just kind of because they they link together. So you can have like lots of them linked together. But I do want to show you that. And I almost forgot that that, that Colossus pack has like literally everything you need now. Um really. Um and um Actually, this modder has just about everything you need for a farm, too. But anyways, <laughs> so we have choices, 20,000 liter capacity. So basically, they've taken the, the, a base game trailer and did some, uh, we have a bunch of uh, options with it. But the most significant one is uh, this 500,000 liter capacity. So it goes from 20,000 to 500,000 or 5 million, right? So um, yeah, whatever you want and that's bulk crops and then bulk crops standard yeah so the three literally like everything yeah so that's this one's a 500,000 this is a 5 million we're just here and um at the silo and we're gonna load up the sugar cane because we'll just kind of deal with the sugar cane and uh actually whilst driving uh, actually, that's not the loading. That was the unloading. Loading is over here. I'm so used to having the loading and unloading in the same spot. There. Now, we're going to see how fast this um, silo loads up, actually. Let's see here. We should be... There we go. Start filling. Um, where is sugarcane? How much did we end up with, actually? That's a good question. Uh, 1.1 million... 600 uh or and 6680 yes so a lot and oh this is uh this is going to take a little while so it's not unloading that fast unfortunately um right so this is going to take a minute we can talk a little bit then about what else we got going on because um yeah that's where we're taking it over there uh, remember we bought these two fields well this one has potatoes in it and this that's still growing uh, potatoes yeah still great almost ready this one has uh, what did it have in there it had uh, canola so we actually can harvest the canola right off the bat too and the potato we might as well 
harvest the potatoes, the pota potatoes, and uh, what's in, I don't think there's anything in uh, 25, what's in 25? There's something in there too, oats, no, potatoes, no, not potatoes, barley, barley, yes, I think it's barley there. Anyways, um, oh, we're almost done, didn't take too long. Uh, no, that's 157. Yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> Sugar King going down, Sugar King going in. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a wait. So, um, we'll, we'll catch up with you when it's full. We got it all loaded up, so it did take, uh, yeah, a while. So, w yeah, 1 million, uh, 110 million... Six, uh, sixty-six, six, six thousand. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that much sugar cane. There it is. Uh, we're gonna go this way, and thought we'd take a little cruise around the countryside and through my cow barn, cause that or my cow pasture. Uh, sugar cane. What? I can feed my cows sugar cane. Uh, where did it say that? Uh, no, not there. Uh, it did say that there was custom feed. Grass hay TMR. Uh, doesn't say it in here. Um, I just got the signal saying I can use overloading sugarcane. Really? Okay. All right, then. Um, nice. Interesting. Um, let's look at that again. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna check. I'm gonna check that out later. Let's let's try. I'm gonna look at that later. Um, that's interesting. Cows eat sugarcane. Okay. Uh, let's go for a ride. We're going going across the map here, and we're going to take a look at... We're, this is potatoes, I believe. Yeah, potatoes. I don't know why it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't. It does. The crops look a little bit more sharp on this map for some reason. Either that or it's just... I haven't been staring at a computer screen all day and gone buggy-eyed. Maybe that's part of it. I don't want to go that way. Um... Lots of little ponds around. Very nice landscaping. What is this over here? We're going to drive through somebody's field. Uh, oh, this is black bean. Okay. Nice. We'll be seeing that coming up in our... in our field soon. We're still the first day here. We haven't even gone ahead today. And we should turn off our help window there because that's just annoying. There we go. Potato to the left. Black bean to the right. Some nice hilly areas on this map. I like it. Some rocks. Uh, we're gonna have to. What are we gonna do? This is obviously sunflowers, and they are pointing upwards toward the sun. Um, is it? Am I going? Uh, I don't remember that being um, a thing in base game. We're going to cut across this field and connect up with this other. Uh, I think there's a road here. Should be a road here. Uh, is this a road across or just. No, it's not. But we're going to go across it anyways. Uh, looks like more back black bean to the right and this over here. Is not a road, but we are uh, cotton. Right. Okay. Uh, let's go. It looks like we sh should be going up over here with more more sugar cane. Okay. And is this a road? This is a road. We found a road. Sugar cane on both sides. There we go. Oh. How handy, nice and close to the sugarcane uh, factory. I guess it is a factory. And let's go down here. Do these uh, 
Yes, they have collisions, so that's good to know. Now we're going to plant something different in our sugarcane field. I know I think it regenerates at least. I don't do sugarcane much. But I do believe it does regenerate. Uh, at least once, if not more than once. Um, but here we go. So, um, is it just a cell point or is it a factory? That's a great question. Uh, let's see. We're over here. We're down here. It says, no, that's, that's we're on top of it. The sugarcane plant. This is slurry, slurry tanks. Let's have a walk around to the sugarcane plant. Uh, can we buy slurry here? I wonder. It looks like it. Oh, and we're in it. <laughs> um, right. Uh, slurry pits. Whoa. Um, <laughs> a byproduct of the uh, sugar process, I'm guessing. Um... Hmm, I don't see a factory by this factory icon here. So I'm not going to, uh, not going to wander around, waste any more time here. We're going to just sell this and we'll have to, uh, we'll come back here and, um, check out the slurry. Um, buy point, I guess? It must be a buy point. Obviously, right now we have, we don't have um, a tank that will hold slurry. And there we go. So, $500,000. That's not bad from that little field, for sure. But it does take some time to grow sugarcane. It, uh, it's, it is a little bit longer than your standard crops. I do, if I do recall, or I could be wrong. It's just one of those days. But uh, off we go, back to the farm. And then uh, we have, uh, depending on how much time we got left, I don't want to make these episodes too long. Um, we got a harvesting to do. And we have uh, some planting to do. What, what shall we plant? Let's maybe figure that out right now. Um, I do believe it says the corn. Uh, it's a new look to corn and sorghum, so I think we'll probably plant some corn. Um, so meet you back at the, uh, oh, I'm going to have to go. Let's see, where are we? I'm going to go pick up. Pick up the cedar up there. Tag that. So we gotta go. Um, go catch that road there. Looks like that road will bring us to the store. Right. Meet you at the store. Here at the store. This is the um, yeah where you buy your where your equipment appears when you oh that does not have any collision to it. Um, you can also come inside to the office here and that you can buy your equipment here. This is, yeah, nothing here has changed. Oh, there is the power flow tool height. Oh, but there's no trailer with it. That's going to be difficult to bring home. That doesn't matter because we got lots of money. Uh, we don't have to worry about money. So, uh, neat thing. Um, oh, uh, let's... Um, Yes, the trailer actually hooks up to the cedar planter, planter shall we say, planter, from the back of the trailer. So that uh, makes this very handy. And we're going to hook up this. And we're going to grab our other trailer and attach it to the front. So we have two of them when we. Come on. Really? Is it backwards? Did I put it down backwards? There we go. Right. Oh, there we go. All right. We're all good to go. Um, take everything back home. There we go. And nice. All right. 
so back to the farm we're gonna plant our corn and um, we'll fill everything up there we got we got our uh, silos that we can get our stuff at so we'll meet you back at the farm we're going to oh uh, should be able to fill this there it's open come on come on give me some there we go okay we got free um, fertilizer and uh, where is our seed going to load up on this probably back here somewhere no maybe it doesn't like this silo oh there it is <clears throat> right so uh, as you can uh, yeah unrealistic capacities of course um, the field work fill station by gaming joy uh, that's in uh, that'll be in the description there's a bunch of mods in there that I kind of use basically mods I have most of them downloaded so yeah kind of cool L lots of cheaty stuff um, a lot of them I use for testing because it just makes it easier but it's fun to farm with these too this one for sure Chris and Riley S um, now hands down the best all-round planter in farming simulator uh, so let's go here corn yes we got corn turn it on lower it down and away we go and we have the mulching function remember the mulching function on this one but not the rolling cuz um, although I could put it on there because I'm pretty much gonna mostly do it by manually uh, the, the the issue with the rolling function is the the worker won't do it but if you do it manually like this um, it works so that's kind of the the one minor little um, hiccup with that with this particular um, pack is um, if you um, have the roll it's just the roller that that's causing the issue and um, I mean all things considered uh, it's really a minor issue and if you really want to roll it there's lots of rollers available however um, they don't go that fast <laughs> so uh, actually we should we should I should do I should we should do that we're, we're going to you know what I'm going to do that we can do that over here um, do I have the uh, oh I think I might have to build a uh, do I have um, oh yes I do there it is toolbox yes toolbox by um, Schultz modding that's this thing is awesome we'll just it's a portable toolbox it's it is truly an awesome thing it's gonna reappear so if I place it here um, if and if I lose it when I when I sell or when I um, exit the game and come back in it's gonna reappear here so wherever you put it down that's where it's gonna end up if you uh, when you save the game and quit but anyways this is really cool because I can go in here let's go here roller mulcher mulcher and roller and let's do that yes let's get this out of the way and we're gonna show how that works but it won't work with a uh, see look at look at it's already uh, I'm gonna hook it up there we go and lo and behold look behind us there it is it is rolling mulching planting and rolling and at 30 miles per hour maybe a little faster even so you can roll it's it's actually the first fast roller in the game and maybe that's why we we're trying to figure out why I mean, I had a little conversation with uh, Chris as the modder, saying, "Okay, what's we?" He he first said, "I mean, I don't mod, so I'm just like throwing out ideas. Like I mean, maybe it's this or that." And um, 
he thought at first it was the width and because he actually made it the roller slightly larger than uh, the the planter to make sure it doesn't miss anything but apparently that's not it but now that I'm here doing this and for some reason it's uh, we have spots here that are uh, what's that's odd there's another one over there um, little crop circles right <laughs> um, but I'm wondering if it's because it's goes like you cannot fast farm on console uh, with a roller no matter what you use no matter what trick you use or whatever a roller will only roll at a certain speed unless the modder has set that speed uh, whatever the modder has set the speed to that's what it's going to roll at you can't make it go any faster and um although he has set this to 30 miles per hour and it looks like i cannot exceed that so maybe that's not maybe that isn't the issue hmm. things that make you go hmm. anyways um so here we are we're planting corn corn looks like to be pretty standard uh the seed rate variable seed rate is working uh for this crop corn uh if you re recall the black beans just did not it said no um no variable seed rate available so it was a custom crop that wasn't um let's say added in there anyways uh let's so i'll show you here i'm going to try and hire a worker and oh look at that well now that's very interesting did i i did i did put the mulcher on there did i not both right you seen that we seen that um that's really interesting yes so we get we're mulching are we mulching uh let's look at look at our map here now this is this is <laughs> um this is interesting let's see here uh where is our mulched yes we're definitely mulched and it's definitely rolling because the needs rolling is gone take the mulched off weeds i got weeds turned on needs plowing does it oh of course it needs plowing well that's too bad um wow that's um it's the worker it actually works on this map just sneaking this in somehow somewhere because i just had a chat with uh, the modder chris s and something i didn't um realize was when you harvest um sugarcane it appears as cultivated so in actuality it's not it's not not going to show up harvested like usual so that's ex i'm explaining why the mulcher and roller works on this planter over top of sugarcane is because when you harvest sugarcane even though it regrows actually three times so it grows the first time and then has two regrowths after that but um it appears as as you can see here um it's cultivated so it's actually um yeah so that will explain it that's why the worker does work <laughs> with this over top of that but it uh, it won't over top of yeah anyways carry on hmm the worker hire a worker it's both mulching i okay well i'm have to gonna gonna have to go and let um mr chris and riley s chris s know of this uh odd happening here um right um right so um i guess that's i guess that wraps it up um i got some messaging to do and uh we're gonna finish um 
We're gonna finish planting corn on this um, on this field, and when we come back, uh, it looks like we need um, oh pH. pH should be perfect here. Nitrogen, um, or sorry, pH. Nitrogen's good. pH. We need lime. Right. Uh, when we come back, we're going to harvest uh, our next episode, episode three. Uh, we're going to come back and um, harvest the canola, although it's not mentioning canola. But we'll harvest the canola, and then we'll plant sorghum. Sorghum? Sorghum. I guess it's, sorry, I guess it's over here. Is it over here? Yeah, I believe this over here. Oh. Yeah, no, these are our potatoes, right? Uh, a little bit north of there is our barley, I believe. No, barley? Yeah, whatever it is. Whatever is ready over there. Something ready over there. We're gonna... Anywho. Um, again, uh, there you go. So hopefully you're, hopefully you're enjoying um, this kind of kind of test series. Having a bit of fun. Uh, mods seem to be thin this week. So, right. I just want to do something. And, and really haven't done one of these for a while. So thank you all for watching. And remember... It's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.